What's up everybody? This your boy A Dog, and once again, I'm back with another video. Today we are back with some more Al Bundy. Now, this one right here, y'all was telling me about in the comment section. Uh uh, after I did the Al Bundy uh insults video, y'all was saying check out the one he got called the shoe store customers. So I guess he's finna go crazy on the shoe store customers. Now, before we get to the video, if you're new to the channel, be sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Without further ado, let's dive straight into this, man. <laughs> if this is anything where I, uh, what I just listened to the other day about, uh, by Al Bundy, them insults was crazy. He went off on everybody that said something to him. <laughs> man, let's go, though. Can I get a whooping? Whoa, Bundy! Remember me, Bundy? No. The one you insulted? I'm sorry, ma'am. You have to be a little more specific. <laughs> you made fun of my weight. You called me a giant seal. Oh, well, let's see. I had four elephants. I had a, <laughs> a rhino who wanted some flip flops, had a manatee. <laughs> no, nah, no, nah, don't remember any seals. <laughs> Can you jog my memory? You know what jog is. That's what you do when the ice cream truck is pulling out. Oh! oh, 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 oh With this attitude, oh, 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 you're gonna be working here for the rest of your life. <laughs> okay, so they're showing some of the clips so I did see. Take gander into the seat next to you if you want to see what your future looks like. <laughs> and she was like, she was just ready to explode. Come, Penelope. Let's go someplace where they treat us with respect. I try the moon, you're way less there. <laughs> now, I demand equal time. Speaking of equal, you really ought to try some. <laughs> <laughs> I've only won them once, and they split at the sides. <laughs> well, let me explain. See, it's, it's just like an elevator. There's a two-ton weight limit on this ship. <laughs> where do you think you're going? Aren't you open? Sorry, ma'am, but unlike your mouth, we occasionally close. <laughs> <laughs> what are you spraying on her? What is that? They get her feet okay, out, some Ian, double D40? Work with me here, pull it in. Pull in your talons, we're almost there. <laughs> See? I told you I was a four. <laughs> no, ma'am. Four is what you'll have to yell when the shoe pops off your foot. <laughs> Excuse me, but am I invisible? Possibly from Pluto. Come on, Arnold. We're leaving. I want a blue. You've already got one. <laughs> Give me the shoe. <laughs> Hold on. Wait. What the world? Do you have any pumps in my size? Yes, I do, but the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Shoes would not allow me to sell them. To well, I hope you get coal in your stocking on Christmas morning. And I hope you get slim fast in yours. <laughs> now, we're about to have our Christmas party here, so would you mind eggnogging on out? <laughs> do you want us to gag you? You're already doing that, but I would like to be blindfolded. <laughs> you can't compete with my charm. I'm a natural-born salesman. Excuse me. Hey, you... do I come to the hag shop bother you when you're working? <laughs> <laughs> Dang, you mean? I'm gonna go out on a limb here. You've never been employee of the month, have you? That's right. But if I were you, I wouldn't be going out on any limbs. <laughs> we are trying to teach this man that his behavior towards us is unacceptable. But a better use of time would be to teach each other the words, no thank you, I'm full. <laughs> what size am I? Well, I'm no expert, but from where I sit, I'd say, too big for shoes. <laughs> well, I'm not sure I like this shade of blue. I'll tell you what I'll do then. We'll stand you in front of a mirror. I'll begin strangling you. Oh. <laughs> When you reach the shade of blue that is satisfactory to you, you yell moo and I'll stop. I want my money back. These shoes fell apart after one day and I want to know why. Oh. Well, you see, ma'am, this is a pliant heel with a cork filling. Whereas you are a giant seal with a pork filling. 
Oh. These shoes make me look fat. <laughs> Be honest. No, they make you look very fat. <laughs> Just I say it in a way. Of you. Well, you wouldn't say that if I came with fries and a medium drink. <laughs> Boy, this man is something serious. You know medium, the size between small and you. I really thought this mule would look better in white. I bet that's what her husband said on her wedding day. <laughs> <laughs> I nailed the soles directly to your feet. <laughs> It'll give you more traction when you're pulling the ice wagon. They don't fit. And your ad said we fit every foot. Yes, ma'am, but our problem is what we're dealing with is not what Webster meant by feet. Now, <laughs> let's face it, girls, what we've got here are rib roasts with nails. <laughs> Now, what I would suggest is surrounding your tootsies with those little brown potatoes wrapped in foil and served with dry rice. I have tiny toes, don't you think? Oh. Oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> For sausages. Sausages. <laughs> sausages. 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 For every insult, you lose a free meal. Oh, come on. I didn't mean it. Haven't you ever had something just slip right out of your mouth? I suppose not. <laughs> oh. I'm not leaving here until you help me. Well, I don't know what I could do that God and Deal Emil couldn't, but I'll give it a shot. Oh. <laughs> Did I tell you how pretty you look today? <laughs> no. Good, then the blood is still reaching my brain. <laughs> because it's against my belief to upset the balance of nature in any way. That's why I haven't washed my feet since I converted. Oh! I hope I haven't offended you. Well, you've got to have lunch before you lose it. Uh, you haven't heard the last of this. What goes around comes around. Well, considering your orbit, looks like I have about 10 more years. I just don't see anything I like. You ought to be sitting on this stool. Oh! <laughs> You'll be hearing from my attorney. Is that the law offices of Hagen and Dot? <laughs> These shoes are too big. I'm swimming in them. Well, that would explain the life preserver under your dress. <laughs> That's it. I'm taking my business elsewhere. May I suggest Jenny Craig? <laughs> oh! No. Look, you don't seem to understand me. I want something that goes with this dress. A bubbling cauldron? <laughs> you got a lot of nerve. I need it to get this close to your feet. Oh! <laughs> Bro, just look at this, yo. Just imagine going in a shoe store and you dealing with a person like Al Bundy. Like, bro. <laughs> Yo, just imagine that, bro. You will be going off on this man. <laughs> but the insults are just nuts. I mean, he, this is, with Al Bundy, it's like anybody can get it. You asking about shoes or anything, he got something for you. <laughs> you better go to somebody else in the store other than him. I don't understand it. I was a size six before aerobics class. All that jumping must have expanded my foot. Then I see you must have fallen on your butt a time or two. <laughs> How dare you say that to my face? Well, I'd say it behind your back, but my car's only got half a tank of gas. <laughs> so because you're mad at me, you're going to take it out on a perfectly innocent chair. <laughs> a chair that has suffered enough already. Oh! oh. That's the blood spurting from my severed digit. Well, these are perfect for my flamenco class. <laughs> Al Bundy, I find you guilty of excessive cruelty to large women. Oh. You should see what he's like with midgets. <laughs> the proper term is little people. Well, that's the proper term for anyone standing next to you. <laughs> that's it. That's our dinner coupons, you fat cow. Oh! No, no, no. We, we don't like to be called fat. Then stay home. 
<laughs> Look at Al. <laughs> Go, girl. <laughs> Look at Al. <laughs> I'm not going to just disappear. You'll see me again. Wherever a fat woman shoves a smelly foot <laughs> in front of some poor guy's face, I'll be there. Wherever someone comes into the store and tries to exchange a pair of shoes he's been wearing for three months, I'll be there. <laughs> Whenever kids come into the store, and take off their old shoes and try to sneak out with new ones, I'll be there too. And madam, when Shamu needs a mate, you'll be there. <laughs> Bro, this man is just hilarious, bro. Y'all please give me more Al Bundy down below in the comment section, bro. This is just nuts. All this to me, he don't like fat women. Like, I don't know. It, it, it seems like he just don't like fat women because every time a fat woman come up to him, a big one, whatever you want to say, he he got a joke for him. And I always like a, a fat joke. <laughs> wow. But look, y'all, we have made it to the end of the video. If you did enjoy, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. It's your boy, A-Dog. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next one.